who should make an application under the EU settlement scheme then? Well, the scheme applies to all EU, EEA and Swiss nationals and their non-EU, EEA or Swiss family members. And it applies to those individuals who don't already have def indefinite leave to enter the UK, indefinite leave to remain in the UK or British citizenship. If an EU national has what's known as a permanent residence document, although the name suggests that that person has per permanent residence rights in the UK, unfortunately, that status is no longer going to be recognised under the new regime. And therefore, individuals who do have a permanent residence document still need to make an application under the EU settlement scheme. The EU settlement scheme doesn't apply to Irish nationals. They will continue to enjoy freedom to come and live and work in the UK by virtue of separate agreements with Ireland. It doesn't apply to frontier workers, and these are people who live, who do not live in the UK, but come here regularly for work purposes. And there may be circumstances in which an individual who already has indefinite leave to enter or indefinite leave to remain in the UK may wish to make an application, even though they are not required to do so. So it may be that they have a family member whose application is contingent upon theirs, or it may be that they have future plans to be outside the UK for extended periods of time and actually they find that they are the, the provisions for remaining outside the UK without losing your status, your indefinite leave to remain status, are more generous under the EU settlement scheme than they are under indefinite leave to remain, for example, and therefore they may wish to make an application to preserve their future rights. So how to make an application under the EU settlement scheme then? In summary, the application is free, it's made via an online app, and in the first instance, the only thing that the EU national needs is evidence of their identification, that being either a passport or, an, or a national identity card from the EU, and their national insurance number. The idea being that these documents taken together are used to check against records already held by the Department for Work and Pensions, or HM Revenue and Customs, and these that data may be enough to establish that the individual has the requisite a number of years residence in the UK to make an application under the scheme. Um, if there isn't sufficient data held, then the individual may be asked to provide further evidence of their residence in the UK, and that could be in the form of bank statements, councils, tax statements. But importantly for you as employers, they may ask you to produce a letter confirming the, the length of their employment with your organisation. And that's something you may have already seen starting to happen. Or if not, you may well be asked in the future by an EU national to provide them with a letter to support their application under the EU settlement scheme. So what rights does an EU national gain under the EU settlement scheme? Well, an individual can be granted one of two statuses under the scheme. The first is settled status, and settled status is granted where the individual can verify that they have five years continuous residence in the UK, i.e. for a five-year period, they haven't spent longer than six months in any 12-month period outside of the UK. And if an individual is granted settled status, that then gives them the indefinite right to continue living and working in the UK. If an individual isn't able to demonstrate five years continuous residence, then they will be granted what's known as pre-settled status. And pre-settled status is effectively a time-limited right to continue living and working in the UK for a further five years. The idea being that after that, after they have gained five years continuous residence, they can then apply to convert into settled status, which gives them the indefinite right to continue living and working in the UK. Interestingly, at the moment, the percentage of EU nationals being granted pre-settled status as opposed to settled status has continued to increase since the scheme was introduced. And at the moment, around 41% of applicants are being granted pre-settled status and 59% settled status. And although for some EU nationals, that's the category under which their, their entitlement lies, there is a, a consensus that for other EU nationals, they probably should be eligible for settled status, but haven't been able to pr produce the necessary evidence of five years continuous residence in order to be granted it.